Hey, all you zealots and zerglings, it's time for game two between Spartan, the Blue Terran, and Wolfpack, the Yellow Protoss. Currently, Wolfpack is up 1-0 in the series, and Spartan has once again declared that he wants a two-player map, and he's picked Scrap Station, which is the map with a very long rush distance. Unless you can uh, pick off these couple of rocks. And it looks like I'm getting some voice chatter for Contrarian right now. Uh, hopefully he can read that. But let's get to the game. If you see... Um if you saw game one, you saw that uh, Wolfpack just kind of out macroed Spartan, and then when he saw Spartan taking his third, he just kind of rolled in, took out the expansion, took out a majority of his army, and then just kind of rolled over the rest of the base. Spartan just did not have the production up to, to take care of that, and his siege tanks were out of position. He, he only had one tank over there for the main engagement, and it wasn't sieged up. And so uh, if he'd had those tanks sieged up and maybe more production facilities, maybe he could have push that off, but it, he got rolled over pretty hard, unfortunately. So we'll see if he has better luck in game two. Looks like we are getting a scouting probe for Wolfpack, but he's got the long journey past the past the central watchtower all the way over to Spartan's main base, where he is getting his first barracks. A little harder to wall off on this map. And right now, Wolfpack's getting his first gateway down kind of a more of a line here. I don't know. You probably have to use a pylon if you want to wall this off. But it's dangerous. You can get a lot of in, in, Terran infantry on this and they could just completely destroy this wall really quickly. So, could be a bit of a risk if Spartan gets the gets aggression first. But right now he's still getting up his first barracks. Pro for Wolfpack is going to kind of scout around. He's going to leave right away, it looks like. And we get another SCV for Spartan. Is he going to chase down that probe? Well, that was a really quick scout for that probe and it looks like Spartan wanted to defend it. Instead, he's going to throw down a second barracks. And we check, and Wolfpack's got a slight lead again, although he can chrono boost out his probes, and it looks like he probably is. And I think as soon as this SCV pops, we need to get an orbital command. Oh, don't queue up another SCV. Your barracks is done. you got to get your orbital command. That's how, you're, that's how you keep up with the Protoss macro game this early on. You need to get your mules out. He has got a marine out though, and we are getting a zealot out here for Wolfpack. He doesn't have any other zealots for us, and I don't think it's a tight wall in, so I'm not really sure where he's going with this, but we will have to see. He's getting his gas up kind of late for his gas. He can't research his warp gate technology yet. I've done that before as Protoss too. I'll completely forget my gas. I'll go to get my warp gates and be like, oh, right. That requires gas. So that could be a little bump that puts him behind. And it looks like Spartan's getting both of his gases now. Does he get three? Yeah, I noticed in the last game is that Spartan did not fully saturate his gas. He had only one uh, one out of four geysers that had three SCVs in it. And he had two, a one, and a one. And that probably probably did a lot to hurt his macro, too. He probably could not have had the gas to keep up with his marauder and tank production. So hopefully he corrects his time and gets his gases completely saturated. He does have a tech lab on here, getting his marauder slow. And we're getting a reactor... So going for a Marine Marauder combination, pretty standard I should say, and getting a Forge down here for Wolfpack, that's just done. Is he going to get an early level 1 upgrade? Oh no, he doesn't have the gas for it. In fact, he barely, probably just barely had the gas to start his Warp Gate research. And pump out a Stalker, but oh, he is Supply Block. And it looks to me that uh, Spartan is about to be Supply Block too. He does not have an SC, or a Supply Depot in production. And yet both players are Supply Blocked right now. And that is something you got to keep an eye on. I still get supply block too. We're, we're grandmaster level. We are not. And now getting his combat shields, trying to use up those resources on something, which is probably not a good thing. But then again, you might as well spend it on something because you want to you want to keep your money low. You want to keep your production facilities running, and you want to drop a mule. Oh, once again, only have one SCV on this gas. He needs to get more on there so he can start building up that gas supply. Definitely what he has to do. And now we're getting an early level 1 up attack upgrade here for Wolfpack. Very early. 
At the six minute, before the six minute mark, he started researching this. Before his warp gates are even done, and he might have wanted to save that so he could get get more out of his more of his gas units out. So I uh, will see if this this I mean upgrades are powerful, but if you sacrifice too much to get them, your army will just be too small and get destroyed. Especially since a level one attack upgrade does not make your units live any longer. So if there are fewer of them, they're going to die quickly, regardless of how much more damage they can do. And getting out of Robo Bay, his warp gate technology is done. Oh, he's gonna have a hard time getting anything out but zealots right now with his first warp bins. But, you know, he could get some zealots out. That would be perfectly alright. And afford anything else. He could afford to get a, Zoc a stalker off that. I'd like to see him do a warp in right now. I'm not seeing any. And, uh, what is. Spartan is supply blocked again. Oh, that's unfortunate. Both players having trouble getting their supply down in time. Looks like Wolfpack has gotten a little bit of a buffer room, which is good and good and bad. And getting the final upgrade off the that, that tech lab, getting his stim, and he's getting his factory down, getting ready for an expansion. I don't know if he's he's got his orbital command. Has he scouted anything? He has not scouted anything yet. And it looks like Wolfpack is not going to take his expansion. His will be a little bit ahead, I think, because by the time that command center flies all the way down here. It, it's, uh, well, I don't know, it could be pretty close. This has got a little ways to go. If he flies this out there immediately, he, they could probably finish their expansions at about the same time. But he's got to move it there first. Oh, he's doing something tricky now, isn't he? Yep, he is going to go to the island. Is Wolfpack going to scout this? He is getting an observer out. It might benefit him to quickly, to the first thing over here is to check this out. And he's got the robo base, so he can get a warp prism which he may have to do unless he's gonna go stargate and there's no stargate tech going here so he's probably better off doing warp prism he can do pretty well shutting locking down this expansion with just a warp prism and just warping units in on there some zealots maybe but now getting another twilight council probably gonna go for that charge again I'd imagine and now he's gonna start with the immortal production again which did well with him last time when he was going up against the siege tanks and, and the marauders but I, I, I like to see him get some Colossus. Colossus are very powerful units, and, and Immortals are only kind of niche units. I mean, they do they do they're, they do good things. You don't see them that much, which is probably why they're getting a buff in the uh, 1.4 patch. But now this expansion is up, and I never saw where that... Did he finish that Observer? He must have. Where did he send that Observer? Oh, he's going to send the Observer to check this expansion. He's not going to see it. It'll take him a long time if he's going to try to scout over there, and it doesn't look like he's heading there currently. So he may be thinking that Spartan is just one basing this and not think to check for hidden expansion, especially against at, at the island where he's just would take no would have taken no time for his observer just to swing by there real quick. Instead, it looks like he's gonna park at the front of his base, which could be a big mistake if he doesn't realize there's a second a, a second base up here. And now we're getting siege tanks, so it looks like he's gonna go for his siege tanks again. He's gotta make sure he keeps his siege tanks with his army. Last game, he kept his siege tanks protecting his front door, moved his army out towards between his, his second and his third base, and when Wolfpack's army came, the, the siege tanks were not there to do the damage that he needed. And then the army was wiped out, and Wolfpack just was able to take the siege tanks on one-on-one. -on -one. So he's got to keep the siege tanks with his army. I know it's tempting just to sit him here and defend your base, but this early in the game, you really can't afford to do that. Ooh, putting some missile turrets up here to guard against any kind of scouting, any kind of warp prism play. It's a bit of an investment, but he's not going to be able to get his army there to defend. And once again, Wolfpack's checking for the natural, and there's nothing there. He should start getting a little bit suspicious. Especially since this is not that big an army off of one base. Or, yeah, that's what I meant. A big army off of one base. He's got to think that maybe there's an expansion somewhere else. Now he's getting a reactor, so he's probably going to be getting out a lot of medevac, which is good if he's got an island base. He might need to ferry a lot of stuff over there. Really needs to start. Getting, he really needs to get his orbital command up here. Send all of his. He needs to get this in an orbital and send all of his mules from both command centers there. And he's got a lot of energy there. Drop some mules there. He needs to mine this out as much as possible. He doesn't want to be ferrying SCVs over here, and he wants to get this saturated as quickly as possible. And where did that observer go? I saw. I thought I saw it moving over here. Yeah, he's just kind of scouting around, not checking where where the expansion is, and now we're getting Zealot Charge, getting the Vikings out. Looks like he's going for an error idea, just because he's got this expansion. 
but oh we got a probe here is Wolfpack gonna take a third this is really hard to defend as probably as any well Terran could probably defend it because Terran are just ridiculous let's throw it on I mean just throw down a, a planetary fortress maybe some siege tanks maybe some missile turrets mass repair anytime they focus down the planetary and just what are they gonna do very little I mean Colossus can do a little bit but you got siege tanks that's not gonna help you any and it looks like he's taking down these rocks. He's getting already getting ready for a fourth when he could kind of sneak down here and take this gold. So both so once again we're getting a bit of a macro game. Be interesting to see who decides to head out first. And looks like maybe he wants to start taking down these rocks. And he's not not yet scouted his expansion. He still thinks that Spartan is not on one base. Which is not the case. And still I want to see this where is this orbital command here? You need an orbital command here. But there, there he goes. He's getting the mules on here. This is exactly where he needs to be using his mules. He should not be using any mules here at this point. And he really could be taking a third base, I think. Because he's got... I mean, he could really take a third base right now, and I think that would help him immensely. And he's getting a couple more gas. He's got to get his units in there. Did he finally max out on this gas? Okay, he did finally get all of his gas saturated here, and he's got to make sure he does the same here. He can't be sitting here deficient on gas right now. Still getting a lot of Vikings, which I don't know about. If there were going to be Colossus tech, which he really should scout, I don't think he scouted his opponent yet. And no, he's not even thrown a scan down. It looks like he may have thrown a scan down here before this expansion was taken, but that seems to be it. So he's no idea what's going down. Wolfpack's really put in defense here. Honestly, put a pile on here and move your army over here. He's got his army split up. He doesn't really need to worry about defending this. I suppose he could, you know, worry about drop play, but that's going to be a case anytime. Drop a pile in here to make sure he doesn't knock down these rocks and move your army over here. That, I think, is what he needs to do. If there's some army here and wipes this out, he's dealing with half an army and out of position. Oh, and he is going to take this base now, so this is going to be his third. Trying to sneak it out instead of taking this very difficult to defend then right here, which is the right the main, main lane of attack until you take down these rocks. And it looks like he is watching these rocks. His freight Spartan's going to move out and getting the high sec auto tracking. I don't think he needs that. He's got way too many missile turrets here. He just needs enough to make sure there's not going to be any aggression at this base. Get this into an orbital. Drop all your mules here. Mine it out as fast as possible. And you only need a couple of turrets just to kind of force any half-hearted uh, attack away. Because the only th real thing that's going to going to take this out, I think, is you know like mass void ray or something. Protoss don't usually get a kind of army that's going to be able to take out this island base easily. So this is, I think, way overkill. Just mine it out. There finally comes the orbital. Just mine this out as quickly as possible. Get your SCVs on gas. He really needs to get his SCVs on gas. He's getting a pile in here at his front so he can get some reinforcements in case he needs them. He's got a lot of gateways now. That's nine gateways, which is exactly what he needs. Pro well, exactly what he needs on... on maybe two and a half bases. He can probably get another robo or some more gateways. It looks like he's pro producing another observer. I, how many observers does he have right now? Well, he's only got one, so I guess he can afford that. And, well, how many uh, robo units does he have? He only has one immortal, so I I think he either needs to produce more out of this or he needs to throw down more gateways right now because he's not he's not maximizing efficiency. He's, he's about to saturate a third. He probably could transfer some probes down there. We check the income. He's got a huge harvest lead, a huge income lead, and he really needs to rally. He really needs to transfer. He could transfer like most of these. He, right? Yeah, he transfer that many down there to that base right now. I think because this is almost mined out. And still throwing down mules here. He needs. He needs more mules. More mules. I think he's out of energy. Oh no, he can get another mule out of there. So both players are just kind of macroing up, building a big death ball, but. Wolfpack's got the macro lead right now. And Spartan is just completely defending himself. I'm not, still not sure what these Vikings are for. It must just be to help defend this in case some massive army comes. He's putting in a starport here, which is kind of interesting place to put it. Because if an attack comes here, he's probably going to have to evacuate it, and he'll lose production time off of that. And we are getting Blink now. I think he did already get charged. Yes, he did. So he's getting some upgrades for his infantry. It seems to be what he's going. Dropping down some more pylons to make sure he doesn't get supply blocked. Oh, because he is supply blocked. Oh, and Spartan's got a, a health, healthy little buffer of his own now. And this observer is still scouting around. Has not yet scouted that island expansion. It's right there between your bases, and he's not yet scouted it. He still thinks Spartan is one basing, and but Spartan needs to be... I mean, he's two bases to three right now. He needs to take an expansion. 
I mean, it should not be. He could. It should not be hard for this army to defend that expansion. He can hold this choke forever, and he can he can respond if Wolfpack tries to break down these rocks. He's got to not be so timid. He's got to expand, or he's just gonna get out macroed, completely out macroed. Only getting one gas right here right now. It hasn't saturated. Did Spartan ever saturate his gas here? Oh, he's forgetting to saturate his gas again. He needs to get SCVs on those gas as soon as possible. And now he's going tech labs. He's interesting. Maybe he's going to do some sort of Banshee push on the main. There's a lot of photon cannons there, so Banshee push would be kind of hard to pull off. And now he could support it maybe with the drop. But now that's a lot of photon cannons. If he swings around here, there's only one here. He could probably take it this way and do a lot of production. There's not going to be do he can do much against this mining right now. Cause and now Wolfpack's taking a fourth base, so he's up four bases to two. Oh, and I think that is going to let him know now that he's got a base up here. Yeah, he does see now that there is a base up there. And oh, fusion course. Looks like we are not going to get battle cruisers. He's got to be careful with that because he's going against blink stalkers. Blink stalkers will do okay again well actually well they'll put pretty good against battle cruisers so he's got to be very careful right now and how many stalkers do we have out there 30 stalkers so if he's going to do this he's got to be very very careful and he's got to get another base because i don't think he's going to he's and he's got to saturate okay oh good thank you he finally saturated his gas if he's going battle cruisers this is an absolute must and now he's getting void rays void rays is not going to take on this many missile turrets so i think this is a bit late and, you know, you almost got to kind of figure, if this base is here, it could have been here for a while. If he's got all these missile turrets up there, it may have been here for a while. It probably is mined out. You may not want to commit too much to trying to take this out. But if he can keep his void rate alive and put it in his army, but it looks like he's not going to worry about that. He's going to start moving out right now and start his push. But he's got to be careful. There is several siege tanks here. He's got one that's not sieged up yet. And you got to be very, very careful. It looks like an SCV is going to go out and take another base, and these rocks are going down. Got it. Oh, I don't know. This is a this is a pretty big army, but Spartan is in a good position. Oh, he, he's probably going to scout this now. As soon as he sees, he doesn't quite see. And now he's going to see that the rocks have just gone down. I don't know where those Vikings are going, but now he's got the army to his front door. But it's going to have a hard time here. This is not a good engagement. He doesn't really have the. He might be able to bust this down, but it's going to cost. It's going to cost him a lot. Oh, but he's going to blink in. I don't know if that's enough. He's losing a lot of units. There's still a lot of siege tanks alive. And this army is getting chiseled down. It's going to do quite a bit of destruction, but it is getting completely destroyed right now. But since he's, he's on four bases, he should be able to take care of this. And now we've got the uh, Vikings are going to snipe this expansion, which is maybe not the end the and Spartan is going to clean this up. He's going to clean this up. Took a bit of damage. We checked the units lost right now. And yeah, that was a... Wolfpack just lost his entire army right now, and it's 117 to 89. If I, mean, I wish Spartan had this base up already because he could do a lot of damage. He is going to lock this down, so hopefully he can get down to three bases to three bases. He does not yet know about this one, and it looks like Wolfpack's going to go try to defend it. And but he does not have a lot of defenses right now. And getting a fleet beacon, are we going to see battle cruisers versus carriers? I would that would be hilarious if we did. I'm not sure who wins that one. Oh, these void rays are in a bad position. They're going to get sniped quickly. They're going to get one Viking before they go down. Are they going to get a second Viking? No, they are not. And so there goes some void rays right now. And oh, watch out these stalkers. Watch the stalkers. Oh, oh, but Wolfpack was not paying attention. It looks like these Vikings are going to get away with only one loss. And those Vikings are going to come home. Getting up a third base. How is his mining here? He's still. Still needs to be getting... Yeah, well, look, he's got a ton of energy here. Just start dropping mules. you got to get this thing mined out quickly. And I, he's got a battle cruiser up here. I think he's forgotten he's made that because it's still just sitting there. And he needs, he needs to... I think he nearly needs to get that with his army. It could be really good now if he mixes that with his army. And he needs to send these send these SVZ out here right now. This thing's going to be done. By the time they get there, this thing will already be completed. But Wolfpack took a huge hit to his army and... Spartan uh, Spartan didn't, so he's got the much bigger army, and let's see if I can find, oh, uh, units killed, no, I want to find army. There we go, army supply, it looks like Spartan is 95 to 63, so he's got the much bigger army, despite the fact that Wolfpack's got a huge worker lead, and he needs to right now just kind of stop making workers, oh, we're getting a mothership right now. 
So we'll get rid of that. There's a mothership coming out and a carrier. I don't know. Uh, the mothership's coming here. Is where is he gonna take this? He can't take it up here. These missile turrets will spot anything underneath that mothership, and you can't vortex a missile turret. So I'm interested to see how he's gonna use this mothership. He's gonna have a hard time getting out carriers. His gas is really low. Oh, he's kind of he's kind of got his his workers misbalanced here. He's running out of gas there. How is his natural doing? Please tell me he's saturated there. Okay, saturated there. And how is this fourth? So he's he's got he's getting he's getting pretty good gas income. He really needs to get a third third probe on this one. Although at this point maybe it's not worth it because he's almost gap mined out there. But if he's going to start going carrier mothership, and Spartan is still pumping out the Vikings, which will do great against carrier mothership if he gets enough. And right now there's only one carrier. Nope, there's gonna, there's actually already a carrier out there, so there'd be two carriers, and he can out Viking a carrier production no problem. And he needs to get these SCVs mining somewhere else. He definitely needs to get the SCVs mining somewhere. We're getting a planetary there. I don't know if I like this choice. I mean, honestly, this army... Of course, if he had this army out here, he might have taken a lot of damage from there because he had these buildings in the way, and... Oh! Gonna snipe an observer right there. Came in range of those missile turrets. But I, I don't know about putting a planetary here. He, want, he wants to keep gathering resources. Oh, he's the fly blocked again! He, needs to, yeah, he might as well just throw down just throw down a couple more supply depots, especially if he's going to keep making battle cruisers, which I don't know if it's going to be a good choice here. He'd be much better off with Vikings. Maybe get a couple of battle cruisers to mix in with his army, and he could do do they could do a lot of damage. But uh, I don't want I don't want to see him getting too many of these because I think the carriers might be enough to to deal with that. I don't know. Carriers do little bits of damage really really really, really quick. I and mean, if we look at the where is he, where does he even have his carriers at? Oh, and looks like the mothership is here, cloaking half the base and causing my computer to lag a little bit. They're actually they're actually putting putting a, a change into the 1.4 patch that's going to fix that. It's going actually going to slowly cloak everything under it. It's not going to cloak it all at once. And they said it's to prevent the sudden lag every time the mothership spawns. Looks like he is going to retake this base. Spartan's still very very tentative about expanding and that that could end up hurting him although like I said he did a lot of damage and it looks like we're getting a level 1 shield upgrade now for Wolfpack do we have any upgrades here for Spartan only a level 1 attack that's the only upgrade he has he has you think he has the money to get more although he's a little little strapped for gas it looks like we're getting moving out, and we have three two on the stalker. So Wolfpack is really on top of his upgrades, and that could be make a difference, unless he engages right into a siege tank line again. And how many siege tanks does Spartan still have? He still have quite a few siege tanks. He could probably keep producing more. He does have the money for it. He seems to be sinking everything into battle cruisers. I don't know if that's a good idea. I think he should stop making battle cruisers right now. And he does have the Yamato cannon now. No, wait. Yeah, he has the, I think he has the Yamato Cannon, he just didn't have the energy for it. Yeah, who's somebody with energy? Yeah, he does have the Yamato Cannon. But here comes a force of Stalkers, and they're going to take out these rocks, which I don't think Spartan can necessarily... He might, if he looks down here, he will kind of be able to see that these rocks are going down. But they're going to give up on that, and oh, that's a mistake, because now they're getting seized from behind from the siege tanks from behind. Planetary from the front. Oh, don't abandon ship. Repair. He needs to mass repair. This is the... the the planetary fortress can last a long time if you mass repair. But he's still getting siege tank fire, which is not good. And he's going to have to go back out the same way again. So I think that was not that's not the way... I think Spartan really needed to mass repair that planetary. Oh, now he's going to shoot the rocks to get back out again, which is smart, because if he goes back across that siege line, it's not going to be good for him. I think if he mass repaired that planetary fortress, maybe moved his army out... Well, can he move his army out? He's got, kind of blocked himself in. He's got no way to get his army out without moving a building. So, I'm not really sure what his plan is here. I guess his plan is to go mass battle cruisers and hope he can take it out. And where's that mothership? Is still sitting here. I don't know what he's going to do with that. So with that, he, it's a very uh, huge investment. If he wants to do something with that, he's got to move, do something. Maybe even fly the... Well, I don't know where he can fly the mothership. Say so he can fly it in and do a mass recall of his army to get behind the... To get behind this front. And now he's dropping a pylon here. So I guess this is his forward encampment now. 
And Spartan is going to be in trouble because his main is mined out. He's even out of gas, and his natural is getting pretty low despite being severely undersaturated. So he's got he's got to expand. He's got to take this force out any way that he can, or he's in big trouble. He can't just sit here. He can't just sit here anymore. He's going to go broke sitting back here. And he, I think, if he can get his siege tanks out here and siege it up, or maybe even. Just take a small infantry force out here see if you can bait people back to the siege tanks but he can't just sit back he's got to he's got to get more aggressive or he's going to just run out of money cuz he's on one base and still pumping out battle cruisers which he's yet to use for anything well he did get the level 1 armor on those and is is wolfpack going to take the rest of the bases on this map well you can't take this base you got to knock down those rocks you should have known that Either he's going to take all the rest of the bases, or he's just kind of scouting to make sure that Spartan can't expand. And both players are pretty much maxed out now, so we really should see some sort of action. They can't build a bigger army right now. And getting a Raven, which could be great if this mothership ever shows up. And he's continuing to reinforce. Looks like he wants to get a big push into this base, which could work. It, I don't know. It, it got destroyed last time. Well, now he's got the carriers. That'll help immensely. But where is the mothership? The mothership is still sit. I don't know what he's doing with this mothership. Oh, now the mothership's starting to move. And where is it going? I, I'm not really sure what that mothership is doing, honest, to be honest. So we've got a bit of a stalemate here. Some player's going to have to make a move, and I think it's going to be Wolfpack. Spartan, uh, you are now maxed out. You have you have to do something, or you. I mean, I suppose you could sit back and keep getting upgrades, but he's gotta he's gotta make a move. He's gonna be broke soon, and it looks like Wolfpack might be getting ready. Oh, he's gonna try to blink up there, and he is gonna blink up there. I don't know if it's going to be the best move or not. And he really could, he, he might need to move these siege tanks. Well, now the siege tanks are going to start shooting. Oh, okay, now all the siege tanks are shooting. But I don't think he's d destroying this as well as he did before. And it could have a lot to do with these upgrades. And he's not producing anything. He needs to be reproducing an army. And those Vikings are going to be a little bit late to do anything. Because there's still forces alive. There's still a couple of zealots alive. But actually, I think he might clean this up. The problem is, is that Wolfpack can afford to rebuild this army. And uh, Spartan can. And he's got a tank sitting here in his meta back. So that army was cleaned up, and we checked the units lost again. And again, Wolfpack took a huge hit. But at this point, he can actually rebuild an army, and, and Spartan can't. And oh, I think carriers is the wrong choice. Those carriers may have helped in that battle, but they are not what you're going to need right now. Oh, and here come the battle cruisers from Spartan. I completely missed that they were moving out. And this could be a this could be an upset because I really think that Wolfpack was in a commanding position despite throwing away two armies to that to that massive front door. And now he's got to be careful. Oh, don't you got you got to shoot the Coloss or you got to shoot the, the stalker. You can't just let him shoot, kill your your battle cruisers off. And I almost would like to see him bring a medevac and some SCVs over and help repair these battle cruisers. Oh, and if he oh, and he's gonna stop the warp into those stalkers because he killed the pylon. And that might be a good idea is to start focusing down these pylons. And look at Wolfpack's food is, is now well below Spartans. And he's losing pylons, so if he's not careful, he's going to be supply blocked here in a second. And he's losing production facilities. I think we're seeing a huge turnaround, but he's got to be careful. He doesn't want to lose too many battle cruisers. He's got to try to micro back, focus down the weak one. And, oh, he really could get this Viking here to help with that battle cruiser, but. I think this might be the. Uh, I think he's gonna slowly whittle down this battle cruiser force, but it's gonna do a ton of damage. You gotta focus down the carrier. 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 And now he's got more stalkers. Yeah, I think he's gonna lose this battle cruiser force. He can't afford to remake it. And the Vikings are a little bit late because the carrier is dead, and now you're just gonna get him killed by those stalkers. And now he's going to land the stalk or land the Vikings. Which I'm not sure if this is the best use for him, but it may clean up these stalkers. And these battlecruisers 
need to hit more high priority targets. And this stalker is like, ah, uh, no, I'm not gonna engage, you nuts. I just saw everyone get absolutely slaughtered. So, uh, Wolfpack will send him some buddies, and that's probably be enough to clean this up. And now he's gonna try to produce more battle cruisers, but he needs to take an expansion. Please tell me he's making an expansion. He, he needs to be making an expansion. He can't lift up this orbital command, take it over here, mule that thing to death, but you are running out of money. You have to take an expansion, and it looks like he did clean this up. Or, well, no, it looks like the battle cruisers are going to escape. So that was a huge hit now. Units lost and just, I mean, Wolfpack is just taking so much damage. Just just getting his armies completely killed. But I still think, I thought maybe that Battlecruiser Rush would, would have taken it out. But I don't know if it did enough damage because he's still got a very healthy account. Although this base is mined out. He's almost completely out of minerals. He needs to send him to this expansion where he's got a ton of minerals left. And there come the probes. Right, he's got to be careful. You got to be careful. And I'm not sure where these medevacs are going. There are four medevacs carrying a tank. So he's got to be careful here because he's got he's got Wolfpack a little bit on his heels right now. So he's got to be very careful. I think he can take out this expansion, and then Wolfpack will probably be in the same boat that Spartan is. And is he gonna, he's sending his probes in to defend. I think he's going to have to send them all in if he wants to take this force out. And Spartan really needs to be microing back using a stim or something. Because he's getting his, his forces surrounded. Something. So when we checked it, it's 87 to 106. So Wolfpack did kind of build back up. Spartan probably lost a lot of that food on those bat lost battle cruisers, which he can no longer afford to produce. But if he just put together a massive infantry, I mean, he could just pump out a bunch of marines and maybe do pretty good right here. He's He's got to hit the space. This is the key base right now until... Well, no, now Wolfpack's going to be taking this goal, and if he gets this up, he'll be two bases to, to zero, basically. Oh, but the battlecruisers are back. I forgot that he made all those extra battlecruisers. But this is not where it needs to hit right now. And really, the Nexus is not the priority target. You need to be taking out production facilities or expansions. That's and, and I really think expansions are really, really what needs to be taken out. But it'd be hard to get the battle cruisers over there. And you need to be shooting the stalkers. If, if you're being shot at, you got to shoot back. Killing that one pylon is not going to be the big difference maker in this game. And now he's losing battle cruisers again. I think it's going to be too late. Well, he probably will save at least... Well, I think he'll save all three of them. But now Wolfpax is going to have this base up. He's got this one mining again, and that's just going to give him a ton of money. But he can't be focusing all this on battle cruisers. Have you seen they aren't making the difference for you? You did a lot of damage with them, but, but now he's ready for it. His stalkers are defending it. Battle cruisers is a mistake here. He needs to be producing infantry. He did so much damage to Wolfpack's army that in, uh, that, a, that a huge Terran infantry would be enough, I think, if he hit the expansions. He could so easily take this out if he was just going Marine Marauder right now. So easily take this out. Then all he would have to do is find this one. But soon, Wolfpack's uh, income is going to skyrocket. It's already skyrocketing. And he is going to be able to take... He's already going to be able to macro up a huge army here very soon. And is he going to be taking? I mean, he needs he move. He got to lift the orbital and, and bring it down here. There's nothing left to mine here. There's no reason to have this orbital sitting here anymore. Lift it up and bring it down here, and then just drop as many mules as you can. That would be the best way. And then just macro up a huge infantry. But it may it may be too late now, because Wolfpack has got his production back up, and he's got a pretty big army here, and they're going to intercept these marines. Oh, but the Stalkers are on move command, which could be a huge mistake. Oh, now they're going to turn around, and they probably will clean this up. They have 313 upgrades, and the Marines are 1-0, and now the Medivacs are going to go down, and I think Spartan missed his window of opportunity. I think his, I think his window of opportunity just closed, because Wolfpack's got his income going again. He can make a new army fairly quickly. And another battlecruiser front is not going to do it. This is definitely... He did he did surprising amount of damage with that first battlecruiser push, but I think after that he needed to switch back to a traditional force because battlecruisers 
aren't going to be able to do it by themselves, especially against all these stalkers. And he's going to lose another battle cruiser. He really needs to cancel this. These battle cruiser sniping forces aren't going to do any good because the buildings are too far away. He can't get in there, and 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 uh, I don't think that uh, a turret is going to do any good. And he's going to get his raven sniped. Yeah, I think the window's closed now for Spartan. He had a chance. I thought he might do it, but he stuck to battle cruisers too long. And he didn't retake an expansion. He still has not done anything to take, take this expansion. You don't need this orbital. Please lift it up and land it here. It would do, and then just drop a ton of mules. You would be surprised at how much, how effective that would be, and how helpful that would be. And now we are approaching the 43-minute mark, and it has been quite a macro game. Although Spartan has pretty much been on two or maybe three bases, while Wolfpack's been on a ton of bases, but has really been careless with his armies and gotten them completely destroyed over and over again. And that is why it's been pretty even, but now with, with Wolfpack's macro, he, I think he's going to have this game. It's just a matter of time. Unless Spartan can do something ex very bold here, but nope, no, he's got a bunch of stalkers at his expansion right now. It looks like he is going to try to build another command center, which couldn't be worse timing because there are a bunch of stalkers just sitting here. And oh, now he's going to see them. And does he have an army he can send out there? He does have some marines. Get the siege tank over here because as soon as these stalkers... Oh, and it's too late. And Spartan just seems to be uh, unwilling to move his army out where he needs them. And he's just going to fall further and further behind. These SCVs are all going to get sniped because they're just trying to long distance mine. And there's only one siege tank left. He has almost no gas income. His geysers are empty. Still trying to do, do his battle cruiser sniping tactics. And oh, don't want to get them sniped. You, basically, that's your army. I mean, he could pump out a bunch of marines. And they could could do some damage, but I think it might be too late. And I think Spartan is now finally seeing it too. Oh, Spartan, you are you are allowed to surrender. I, I guess he just wants Wolfpack to take him take him out. Unless this is some mind game where he's going to try to draw his army in and destroy it, but he doesn't have enough to destroy it, so. Spartan, if you're done, then then be done. Don't just you don't have to prolong the game. But he's gonna try to take out the front door once again. Siege tank's probably gonna do quite a bit of damage, although it's doing the damage to the zealots. The zealots are not happy about it. So we're just waiting. We're going to Yamato a stalker. I, I I don't think we need to stay in this long spark. And if you were, if you were done, you you are allowed to surrender. You don't have to drag it out longer if you don't want to. And there's the GG from Spartan. So I hope you enjoyed game two. Wolfpack is going to take the series two nothing. And I hope you enjoy the next the upcoming games. And uh, have a day.